Welcome back to the channel, Galaxia here. Hope you're all doing okay, hope you've had a good day. Now, what we're going to be looking at is a few updates that have gone on. We're going to be rolling a few uh, few updates into one video, as I didn't want to do a five-minute video on all the th different things that have come up. But first of all, we are going to look straight into this new dynamic uh, ratting update that's come on. Uh, the dynamic bounty system, it's called. Now, I'm just going to pop an image on the screen. Uh, this is basically what we are going to be looking at. So it starts off as 100% bounty index for that solar system in Nullsec. So how it works is the more ratting that is done, more NPC farming that is done in that system, the index will go down. And ones that aren't used, the index will go up. Now there needs to be some form of conflict or danger or something in these systems. So as stuff gets blown up and people lose stuff or there's fights the system index will go up to a maximum of 110 percent there is a new uh there is more details coming out soon about the new uh the old encounter surveillance system and how that all works uh, but the details on that are yet to be released so for example as it says on the update uh on the patch notes which will be linked in the description below if, for example there's an npc that has a hundred uh hundred thousand bounty i'm just using an example from there uh, dev blog 100,000 isk bounty and the payout is at 110% you'll get 110,000 isk great but if you start heavily ratting in that system which someone I remember speaking to someone and they said it's after there is a certain number of NPCs killed over a certain amount of time and it, it will drop so that NPC could go from 100,000 down to 85,000, which if you're doing a lot of NPC writing, that's a lot of ISK you're going to be losing. So this is going to encourage people to spread out a bit. Uh, I don't think this will encourage people to take more space and hold on to more space for NPC writing because it's not going to really be a viable option of maintaining that space, keeping it going and cycling the systems. Now, this is going to get metagamed to hell in the first week of it being released so people will find ways around it this that and the other they'll find ways to bring the index up without with minimal effort so if you're in null sec uh, i'd keep an eye out for this one as it's uh, as i said the index is going to be uh heavily dependent on how many npcs are going to die in that system uh but also high level player combat and deaths multiply that goes up so the more people die and more people get blown up in that system the higher their index is going to be and if it's completely dead then no one's in there it'll just be a standard value so what they've actually mentioned on their dev blog is that they want people to spread out to get away from the safe ratting space by spreading alliances out thinning the protection and creating more conflict i don't think it's going to create more conflict i think people are just going to find a way around this and stick to their areas but this is going to be interesting for certain alliances that have vast amounts of space and there's trillions and trillions of isk getting getting farmed every month uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how quickly those drop and how I think this is probably a shift. It's not so much to generate conflict. I think this is also an underlying pin of uh, trying to reduce the impact of botters, which are set in one system and they go off for hours on end, make loads of money. So doing that, they're not going to be able to stay in the same system to generate the same income. So this one's um, going to be interesting to, uh, how this one all pans out. Next on the list is these super carriers. Look at that. These super carriers are having uh, a cosmetic update. They're having um, been having obviously a, a massive size. The smaller one is the current size of the Nix, and the net the one next to it is obviously the new model. It's absolutely huge. I think it's they say it's doubled in size, but that is definitely more than double. So that one looks uh, really really good. There's also the hell that's uh, on there. That that again massive massive difference in size, which. I think these probably should have been that size originally to start with, uh, instead of being as small as they are. And but these are these sizes are absolutely amazing. But this is obviously to factor in the different the sizes of the ships that are going to need to be. So they're doubling the size of the ship maintenance bay from two point five to five million uh, cubic meters. And this is going uh, for the new super carrier patch, which. They're making the light fighters um, signature radius increase by 10%. So they're going to be easier to kill, easier to track and shoot and take damage. So that's good. 
Um, I don't personally. I don't think super carries should even have light fighters. Uh, but that's just me. I think they should be heavy fighters only. Heavy fighter. Uh, oh, also light uh, light fighter speed reduced by ten percent, which is great because the fighters are a little bit over, uh, light fighters are a little bit overpowered with their these big things. Now they are increasing the uh, heavy uh, the HP on the heavy fighters by ten percent, which is which is great because they're going to be they're going to be heavy hitters, and they're also going to have more HP, so they don't get sniped as quick. Now, the Wyvern and the Aeon are getting a fighter damage bonus increase to 7.5. So the Wyvern and the Aeon are getting a little bit of a buff in this, which is nice because they are just known as the uh, the brick tanks of them since the new um, Amulet and Nirvana implants. They were sort of the brick um, tanked ones. Now, there is coming uh, the Vat Out of Hell. Now, from what I've heard and what I've seen and whatnot on the test server, people trying it, these new VAT bays where you can die, you take a drug, don't know where you get that from yet, but you take a drug just before you die, when you get podded, uh, you then respawn in the supercarrier and you get a ship from the supercarrier that has one of these modules. And that then goes, that means you can then spawn on the battlefield in a new ship. Some people have tested this. And it's probably going to end up being uh, a, a glorified um, suitcase because it, you're not really going to use this on the battlefield right on the middle of in the midst of everything because you're just going to get blapped soon as you uh, soon as you come out of that uh, thing. So it's probably going to case of it's going to sit on the citadel tethered uh, because as of testing it on the on the test server, it didn't block your tethering, but it stopped your docking. So unless they've changed that in the last day. Um, it's you're not going to lose tether by people respawning at your supercarrier. So that's uh, that's going to be a bit uh, interesting to see if that has changed because that needs to change. You need to put these things at risk if you're using something like that. They do consume 20 um, oxygen fuel blocks for the Wyvern. I imagine that'll be racial per supercarrier. Uh, but I just don't think that this... That bay is going to be useful uh, in the way that they are hoping it will be. I don't. It may just be a case of use them to jump into system to unload. Like I think it was fifty munins or something like that, or a hundred jackdaws you can fit in a super with uh, after this. So it's going to be a lot of ships to replace, and all you need to do is set a, uh, set your death clone in a citadel in the system, get the super carrier to drop those, um, get those to drop those ships off, and that's you done. So. I don't quite think this VAT bait is going to be uh, applicable to a lot of NullSec areas. It may be in some areas. I may be proved completely wrong. I just don't think it's going to be something that's uh, that's viable um, in, a, in a big fleet fight, especially when it comes to tie-dye and the server struggling and all these different calls going on, adding to the server load. I think it's, I think it's going to be um, ignored, mostly. But I thought I'd just get this update out for you guys. We've gone over a couple of things there. Also... Interceptors are getting a huge buff, like the claw, the combat interceptors. They are going to be gnarly over this. So, over the 30th, 30th of October to 6th of November, get yourself out there, get yourself in an interceptor, go and kill because there is also increased loot drops. Yes, I said increased loot drops. If you've been on the test server, you'll see little pumpkin wrecks, which, like last year, they had a 100% loot drop. I don't think it's 100% this year. I think it's a different percentage. I'm thinking around the 50%. Now, there are a lot of changes coming to these interdictors as well, um, which is I'm going to put a description on. I'm not going to go through it all. There's a lot of changes coming. Some of the interdictors are getting a big buff to power grid, CPU, velocity, signature radius, all that good stuff. Um, I think the Sabre is the only one that... Yep, the Sabre is the only one that's not getting any form of love, probably because it's the most commonly used. And... There is also going to be a stasis webification probe, uh, so it, it like an AOE uh, AOE effect, thirty percent web effect to all nearby ships, including obviously yourself. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. That's coming out today, as of uh, uh, the day of this video. And um, but with these combat interceptors, uh, so all you ones that aren't interdiction nullified are getting a, uh, they're getting basically they're getting some new teeth on them. Um, they're going to be pretty uh, pretty nasty. So. Uh, I can imagine over the next uh, week or so, you're going to see gangs of these running around uh, because of the new damage output that they can have. They did this last year with the interceptors. So I can imagine, uh, as they did it last year, uh, 
this is going to be interesting. There's going to be a lot of uh, Scepter Gangs going around and with these loot drops as well. We're going to be catching some NPC hunters and ratters and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be interesting because the, the damage output is going to be insane on them, uh, on a gang of them. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Just thought I'd go over a few different updates uh, in this one video instead of doing videos for them uh, as multiple videos for them. But if you have enjoyed it, guys, make sure to uh, hit that subscribe for some more of these. And uh, I'll see you uh, in the next video. Take it easy, guys.